Lawmakers came together today on a divisive issue, how to bail out Honolulu's rail project. But now it's a battle between state lawmakers and the counties, who have joined forces with Mayor Kirk Caldwell. Oahu's rail has ballooned to $10 billion in costs. State lawmakers are at task with saving the rail and came up with a combination of extending Oahu's GET tax to the year 2030, while also raising the hotel room tax statewide by 1%. Bridget Namada has been following this story and joins us with more. Outside of the Capitol, rail supporters with the Laborers Union Local 368 waved signs to passing vehicles. Inside the Capitol, it was a much more somber atmosphere. Two minutes each to express their thoughts on the Senate bill in front of the Ways and Means Committee. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell asked the legislature to reconsider, saying the proposal would force the city to make huge cuts to things that matter, like police and the fire department. I don't want to cut down on on core critical services that the city provides. Things like public safety, trash pickup, roads, parks, sewers, all the things we're fighting to make better. If the legislature would only change one number, the GET number, by a couple more years, by five instead of three, that's all it would take and we believe we would have the money sufficient to fund rail without jeopardizing the city finances. Neighbor Island County representatives backed the mayor up. Big Island Mayor Harry Kim. I'm in very, very strong opposition. I be believe that it, the unfairness of the county is just an overwhelming burden, and I ask for your help. I sincerely ask for your help in reviewing what this will do to the county government. Kauai Mayor Bernard Carvalho. I mean, support the rail overall. But as far as the neighbor islands having to cover the cost, that's very difficult for us because we're trying our very best to manage what we have. Maui City Council Chair Mike White. I have not yet found anyone on my island that is interested in paying uh, for the TAT or paying the TAT for rail. The atmosphere is that our constituents want our representatives and our senators to stand up and say, this is an Oahu issue. We're happy to help in other ways, but TAT is not the way to go. Part of the bill would require the state auditor to run a mandatory audit on Hart's past finances, management, and operations. About a million dollars would go to the department to make it happen. The state auditor said his office cannot handle the capacity and would need more money. Given our current level of staffing, our current caseload, we need help. We're not able to do this in-house by ourselves. We need to hire other staff now we need to hire consultants now hotel industry officials oppose the proposal to rail hotel taxes statewide saying it would be like sticking it to the visitor urging lawmakers to remember hawaii depends on visitor dollars and must stay marketable in a very competitive global industry bridget amata khon 2 news